morning. Hello and welcome to my daily vlog of life on our beef and arable farm here in South Yorkshire. Um, it's looking like it might actually be dry today, which would be nice. Um, I've got a trip out to the dentist to sort out a little bit later this morning. And um, what else we want to do? Well, you'll find out. Keep watching. Well, my dad's away on the TM feeding round. I can hear the nine metre started up and running. Now, as to whether they've jumped it or not, I'm not sure because I was a little bit late this morning. Andy's got the 130 up and running. Well, I must be letting him in the pens. Well, it's, uh, it's cold on old hands today. That is for sure. So we'll just drop this silage into the ring feeder for him, get it unwrapped. As you can see, all these guys are very happily eating their meal. Andy's having one or two retrieving troubles with the 130. Um, so it's massively annoying, but uh, I can't, you know, Pippin have done all they can. I've rung them up, told them the problem, sending somebody straight out. There's nothing, nothing more you can ask for, is there really? Um, job sorted. So Andy's going to put the big beast on the straw blower. Get it done with a nice MX weight block on front. The only thing is he might not be able to get up the path because it's a bit too wide. Um, but you never know, we might sort it. It's coffee time. So Rippon's made it here already to have a look at this getting the laptop in and diagnosing the problem which she's had a brand new wiring loom so it could come from anywhere um, anyway Andy's, Andy's still on pulling band guess who's here now it's John dear mate hey mate morning you, you're not drilling today yeah I'll give you me <laughs> it's a little bit wet. You got a fair bit ploughed up though, aren't you? Ah, ready to go. We've got Rippin here fixing this tractor again. again? Yeah, yeah, go again. Um, uh, so much to do with air brakes. Alright. No no fuel in it and it's full of fuel. It's brilliant, it fills you it know, up. Yeah, I have that trouble. Right? I have that trouble, but it's because I may be ugly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, oh, main thing what hydraulics will work. So, what the? They did work it morning and then they stopped yeah. working. So, technical glitches. Right, well, you've got laptop it's anyway. So, cab it's been off antiques, so your shoulders. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cab's been off, bonnet's Electric. been off, engine's been out. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I don't think engine's been out. Radiators at front were out. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's had a good uh, been in, taking to pieces. Been in bits. Yeah, very much so. Because new weight block, mate. I don't know. It's snazzy, isn't it? Yeah. He said, what colour did I want it in? And I'm like, well, just send it whatever, like, I don't know, green or grey. <laughs> that's 6'9 that's, that's got a blow in. <laughs> John Deere mix gone. Um, Dan is still having issues with his laptop or something. Um, he just keeps thinking. That seems to be a common common thing with John Deere's at the minute, isn't it? Like, the screen just starts thinking. Well, it even happens on their laptops as well. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get some cattle out before I go to the dentist. Right, I'm gonna leave these guys to it and get to the dentist. In the dentist. It's dentist all done. Uh, well, I've got to come back in two weeks. Temporary crown fitted and um, can get back to work now. Well, I'm back in the yard. It looks like we got Flash Ash here because he's in the Freelander at the minute. Dad's down the house drive. So we got the builders in. Yeah, um, He's just getting that out of here. I'm gonna go and have some dinner and then uh, see what the rest of the day holds. Andy's got the plough on, ready to get a bit of turned over, changing some metal on it. Just thought I'd start the 215, but as you'll hear in a second, we're having issues. Oh, days get better. Guys are changing. Are these called the throats? Right, so. so we're getting a bit worn. So if we've got a bit of an opportunity to get out with the plough and um, go drilling, hopefully, fingers crossed. Right, so with this tractor, I'm gonna have to take the steps off because I know there's no positive power to that. 
So I've tried to uh, jump start it before and I've had the multimeter on it. So that means you're gonna have to take the steps off to get to the battery to then find out why that's not working, but also to start the beast up because she's run out of juice in the battery. We seem to have a few problems with things like this at the minute, don't we? We've got the little 3CX backed up in the yard. Boost. So the uh, council basically are doing some work local and um, they wanted somewhere to park it. So I said, yeah, crack on. Right, I'm going to go and get some straw to set out. And then we'll be thinking about feeding these a little bit later. Get down this stack. Now I'm fetching them down from the top, which let me tell you is fairly high. Like that high. Really, 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 really high. 36 foot, is it, to the top? Get a few degrees on this measurer. You start to feel it a lot. Uh, and when that starts beeping, you start to worry a lot. We'll put these back down and we'll, we'll come back at them, I think. Boy, was I glad to get them down on the floor. They weren't nice. Not one bit. These guys, Ash is here, by the way. Just lifting the sheet back up. I think that's going to rip it, to be honest, doing it like that, but anyway. Ash! Not bad. In your Freelander. Freelander. Full power! Beast, isn't it? Is it? Is it as quick as the Discovery? It, it is, is a minute. It's better than it, yeah. <laughs> it's better than it. It's getting a bit wet at the back, so we just fetched a full wet bale, which is still decent. And these guys, will just let them smash it about. Oh, it's looking lovely. Sun shining. So we got the 3CX GCB, JCB even. Connor is behind that wall of straw there, just as you can see, doing a mix. But Andy from Ernest Lang dropped off these massive extending palatine things. We're going to move some troughs, aren't we, Andy, while we've got them? Make use of these beasts. Okay, they must be like, what? 12 foot long or something? I don't know. Yeah. Decent them, I like them. I do like them. Good little tool. He's been putting bales of silage in. Got Mr. Ivy's here letting me in. It's good that, you know, it's oh, See him straight away. We ought to probably have some alarm. Like say a massive congratulations to Mr. Tom Pemberton and Joanna Pemberton on the birth of their son, Harvey John Andrew Pemberton. Lots of Pemberton's in there. Um, yeah. Massive congratulations, mate. I just, yeah, welcome to fatherhood. It's going to be long, sleepless nights for you. Um, but, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, hopefully, I'll be seeing them both at Ollie's track to run, other YouTube news as well, um, which is going to be the 10th of December. Now, I saw that um, he's taking entries for it. In the first 50 entries, I think, are um, a £100 donation, because it's all for charity. It costs... Ollie's just like mad on charity and he's fantastic, raises so much money for so many good causes. Um, I think, I would think it's Alder here, Children's Hospital, I think, for this year. Um, I've not looked that bit up, but I think that's who it's for. So um, yeah, first 50 entries are a £100 pledge. And then after that, I think it's just like, try and raise as much money for charity um, through the, the next 50, 50 entries, because I know it sells out every single year. So I'm so lucky to um, be able to, 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 to bear witness to it so and help it out. So there we go. Anyway, that's new. Oh, and Charlotte Ashley, let's throw it in the mix here. She's also doing food bank donations and I've seen a picture today, absolutely mental how many people have sent her food bank donations, which I think is such a good idea that I might possibly steal it one day. Um, sorry, Charlotte, but I might steal your idea because I think that's such a great way to help like your local community so yeah well done charlotte ashley believable this somebody's somebody's delivered a parcel to us has it is it where yeah. was it for a, a mystery letter <laughs> god knows been here some time it's like paper in it i think calendar it's about the rat's hand had it <laughs> two ten looking at beast 
They're going to drop that off. Is that under it? No, no, it's putting it in shed. Oh, is it? Oh, it's backing it away. We are 1.30 then. That one's a wire, then. A wire? Yeah. So it's all fixed now for the morning? Yeah. I've got a fire extinguisher up there. I might put it in the <laughs> Get it in. We're done feeding now. Get this pulled into shed. Out of the way. In. There's an added addition in the toolbox. Fire extinguisher. <laughs> Thing is though, this is where it sets on fire. That'd be alright. Needs to be in cab with you. Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh. It's dangerous in the cab. Why? I was always told don't have anything heavy in the cab. Right, because if you tip the tractor over, it's probably the most likely thing to kill you. So, there's a bit of wise words from an old boy. <laughs> there we go for Mandy. But, um, yeah, you should have your fire extinguisher in your cab and then you can grab it straight away and go. Maybe not that size though. Maybe you can get them ones from Ollie's website, actually. I've got another one there. A little one. Oh, we've got another one here. Oh, we are very, we're very fire safe, conscious at the minute, aren't we? It's not as good as the uh, jet wash though, is it, Connor? Nope. That sorted the job, didn't it? <laughs> Goes through windows as well. <laughs> no. um, that is it anyway from us uh, this evening. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, press like, subscribe if you're not already. Um, check out um, the merchandise. Hopefully, them hats are coming in the next few days. Um, Andy will be getting more burgundy later on in the year. Burgundy. burgundy. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. The press. Uh, me and Ash have come in for a coffee and we've had a letter, but it's a CV, but I don't think it's right. <laughs> so, uh, Has, there's something not right with this. Yeah, just really is from somebody, then um, yeah, well, well, hide the name just in case. Um, but it does say Appleby. Now, there was a lot of questions about this. I'm writing to express my strong interest in the agricultural position you have advertised. I have extensive experience in operating agricultural machinery, particularly handling equipment with a length of nine metres. <laughs> I have a deep passion and have been particularly successful in the operating of various Teagle machinery on social media platforms. <laughs> Prior to the use of high visibility gear and strictly adhere to all safety protocols when I am fully clothed. <laughs> <laughs> Adaptable, uh, capable, managing my time, and very familiar with the TM320 model with its extensive capabilities. I'm a strong team player and would like the opportunity to work alongside your excellent team, fostering a collaborative and supportive working environment. I have competent with livestock and have hairdressing skills too. <laughs> oh. Business, right? So, whoever sent that, thank you very much. It made me chuckle. When I read the address and it said Applebit, I was straight away on the phone, Charlotte Ashley, Roy Ashley, but they're denying all knowledge. So do you reckon it's them? Because I reckon it quite possibly could be. Um, or if it was you, let us know. But um, yeah, but on Charlotte's channel, say, Charlotte, we know it's you. Um, anyway, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.